Hi everyone, Igor from Noblex Solutions is here and as you can see from the title of this video, today we will show you everything you need to know about electric scooters, steering dampers. We are planning to film more guides like this within the next two months, uh, because the weather here is really bad and we can't ride our scooters. Or we can. Oh sh we are on the way to 5000 subscribers, so I would really appreciate it if you support our channel by smashing the subscribe button. Make sure to keep watching till the end, because I will explain why would you want to install a steering damper and also I will show you the actual process of the installation. A steering damper or steering stabilizer is a damping device designed to prevent uncontrolled movement of a steering mechanism, a phenomenon known in motorcycling as wobble. In simple words, it creates pressure inside of it, which damps all the sudden movements by the wheel and allows more controlled steering. Depending on the damper type, the amount of resistance can be adjusted. What actually causes speed wobble? When riding on a rough surface or your tire hits a bump, rock or pothole, there is a big chance that might cause very quick changes in direction of the steering, causing you to lose control over your scooter. Those kind of things can lead to a serious accident. According to research, between 2014 and 18, about 4,000 people in the US required treatment because of the electric scooter-related accidents. Meanwhile, as we see even more scooters on the roads these days, the number of accidents related to them continue to increase as well. And what about non-registered accidents? Regardless, there are many ways to improve your riding safety and the use of steering dampers is one of them. This device can make your rides much more stable and safe, especially if you own a high-speed scooter. As an admin of the Nandrobot Facebook group, I've seen many of you struggle with speed wobble. Well, that is really not surprising, it's a pretty common issue with most scooters that can do faster than 30 miles per hour. Let's quickly go over the things that cause speed wobble. Your front suspension might be too soft, causing your front wheel to wobble on higher speeds. Those 10 and 11 inch wheels might also be very small for those scooters, considering the top speed. It's pretty logical that bigger, wider wheels provide you with more traction and control over your vehicle. Thirdly, uh, your riding position and body weight distribution might be way off. The more you lean back, the more wobble you experience. My advice, try leaning forward when going fast. This makes a huge difference in terms of safety and riding stability. And last but not least, if the road conditions are bad, you're bound to wobble no matter how experienced you are as a rider. So try to choose your speed wisely depending on the condition of the road. Don't be that person who puts himself and others at risk. Since the risk of a serious accident is way higher with high-end scooters, you should always play it safe by installing a steering damper. Installing one is a great way to reduce the risk of an accident. It also provides a smoother ride and control over your steering. Here are some additional benefits. If you have a damper installed, you can use one hand to close your helmet visor. Or, for example, you need to press that record button on your GoPro, which is obviously too dangerous at any speed without the damper. You can also grab your favorite drink or enjoy your ride with popcorn. Chances of losing the control over your steering are probably 100 times lower with a damper. Today we are going to install a steering damper on my all-time favorite Nandrobot D6+. Plus. This is really simple, so let's jump straight into it. Here is the steering damper kit that you can get from uh, roadrunnerscooters.com if you're in the US and nandrobot.com if you're in Europe. You will find the links to this product in the description. So let's open it up and see what we have in the box. So this is the damper itself, this clamp, and some screws as well. Let's start with installing this part first. This is the base for your steering damper. You will need a four millimeter Allen key or electric screwdriver. Remove those two hex screws. Put your base like this and use those two hex screws that were included in the kit of the steering damper. Obviously the original screws would be too short for that, so definitely use those. I recommend checking those with your hex wrench. Those have to be really tight, so you should put some extra effort here. Yeah, we're good to go. Next step, remove this screw from your front light. 
Now take this piece and uh, place it here. Don't forget your washers. Place your headlight back here. Take the original screw and put it back in. You'll need to make sure this one is super tight here. Next step, we need to install this clamp with a five millimeter Allen screw that was included in your kit. Yeah, that's good as well. Now take the damper itself and uh, insert it here. Now take your second five millimeter hex screw and screw it in. We're almost done. We found a perfect position of the damper, which means that our movement is not restricted at all. We can rotate it to left and right without any issues. And uh, if you have an Androbot D6 Plus, the perfect position would be at seven centimeters here. And after that, make this screw really tight. Yeah, we're good to go. Here we go, the damper is installed. Uh, it will take some time for you to get used to the damper. However, after a couple of rides, you will realize how good that thing is. And here is the main question. Do you need a steering damper or not? Well, since the speed wobble happens at higher speeds, I would say that if you own a scooter that doesn't go any faster than 30 miles per hour, um, I don't think you need it. And if you own one of these that can go up to 50 miles per hour, and you want your rides to be as safe as possible, I definitely recommend installing a steering damper. If you enjoyed this video, smash the subscribe and notification bell buttons. And also let us know in the comment section what videos you want to see next. Ride safe and see you next time.